Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have Ace of Air with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's taking things in a new direction here. Uh, it's almost like kind of getting an epiphany, okay, seeing that there's a different way out. We have perseverance, obstacles are blessed opportunities for growth, and new love. So a new love or a new phase in love is beginning here. Okay, so we have lots of opportunities coming up. Someone feels very empowered to overcome some challenges, okay? Overall energy, page of wands. This is about setting off on a new adventure here as well as uh, taking risks, okay, with the page of wands. But getting it done, okay? Kind of lighting a fire underneath you. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Two of Swords, King of Wands, and Queen of Wands. So I see in general, you really do realize that there's some things you just got to let go uh, that... You know, no matter what happens or what decisions you make, it you know, let the chips fall where they may, right? Uh, but when, what I see here is in regards to your person, uh, you really felt like, okay, this connection was very strong. Uh, they're showing up as your divine counterpart here. And the connection was so deep and so uh, magnetic, okay, is what I want to say, that... You feel like there's nothing you can do at this point because if it was meant to be, it's meant to be. But you feel like they've made some uh, bad decisions when it's come to really uh, accounting for your feelings or talking to you the way that you should have been addressed as well as you feel like this person uh, was always trying to block or make excuses here to take action on this connection or do something about what was going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their energy here. And I see this week, you know, you're just not even trying to think about it. You're trying to get out of that stuck energy. You feel like it's a stalemate anyways. There's nothing you can do. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I see for them, the energy is really gaining momentum. They're turning around definitely in a different direction. You know, you can see this with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. So they were headed this way, and now it's like with the blink of an eye, something has switched uh, with them in the way that they're thinking about this. And ready to move towards the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So something more solid and stable. They feel like they are empowered now to offer you something uh, truly special here. It's something that they've not done before. Talk about the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Judgment. Something where they've not make it, made a decision on. Okay, so it's showing me, you know, you really feel like that this person didn't make a decision and they feel like now, okay, I've got it. It's like a light bulb's gone off and they know what to do in order to make things right, but uh, to make this concrete, okay? Tell them what the Eight of Wands. Seven of Cups, yeah. Getting out of that energy of confusion, not making a decision. So it shows me this person's quite indecisive. They have a problem really stepping up and making a decision, even if it looks like it's going to be good and there's no risk to it because they're in fear of always choosing wrong or uh, being wrong about something. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Sun in Reverse, King of Pentacles, and the Strength card. So it looks like uh, this person might be uh, very down and out at times. Uh, they definitely look at things uh, in a negative aspect, okay, instead of just grasping for positivity in different obstacles or challenges in their life. Uh, and it, the same thing has happened with this connection. It's almost like they really felt like, okay, you know what? I may not be successful at this anyways. I may not make them happy. You know, I don't really want to make a decision or do something about this. Uh, so they definitely tamed themselves back, but they weren't going anywhere is the issue. In the King of Pentacles, they're stubborn, okay, and they're not going anywhere. They still want this, 
but they don't think that they have to do anything about it, okay? So if it's meant to be, they felt like it will just all fall in place. Therefore, it everything was left on your shoulders and uh, making you put all the effort in and this person not really reciprocating or doing what they should have done uh, to make this connection flourish or uh, actually move to a direction of uh, commitment. Some of the Sun card in reverse. Six of Pentacles. So there was more times of stress, more times of uh, feeling despair here than there was feeling good in this connection. And with the Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, they could be an owner of a business for some, or they could be working a lot, okay, spending more time or valuing uh, money or finances, career over love. Uh, I'm also seeing for some of you, this could have been a third party where this person was actually married here or in a committed situation or definitely responsible for them, okay? Tell with the Six of Pentacles. Five of Wands is something that they desperately wanted to fix and change, but didn't have the courage or the strength here, okay, to really do that. And they, they didn't make them happy giving into two situations or just focusing on one. But it's almost like for the love part, they felt like that has to come after my finances or my world is secure and safe and I'm ready to dive into that. Okay, so it's also a perception. So let's see what the challenge was here. And for some of you, I see you could have worked with this person too. Things could have been more secure until something changed abruptly or altered. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so yeah, children could be a factor here. Uh, for this person to uh, make changes, but we have the Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy. So it felt like at times this person wasn't really even interested in this connection or you, and it made you feel like, okay, what is going on? Why are you even contacting me back? And when they would contact, it was more so they were wanting affirmation from you, wanting attention or stroking the ego. It wasn't anything where you felt like it was deep on a level where you felt like this is going to last long term. And in the Two of Cups, it's an undeniable connection, okay? This is something that they wanted as well as you. So they felt the same way and on the same page, but they didn't show you that. So even though the feelings and energy is there and it feels unbreakable, it just wasn't coming across, it wasn't being shown, and they weren't taking action on it. Uh, tell me the Six of Cups, please. Ace of Wands. Yes, there's a missed opportunity here. If there was times where this person had the greatest opportunity to make a decision to where it would do the least damage. Okay, so whatever was going on in their environment, uh, they, there was some key moments where you even knew they, there was the prime time that they could have stepped up and some of you actually felt like, wow, they're going to do this. The path is clear. Okay, here we go. And then it's kind of like you just had this disappointment. Okay, they just, you know, dropped the ball. They never even, you know, moved at all or made a decision here. Okay, so let's see what action they take this week. But I see in the current moments, you know, something's hit them like a light bulb here. Something has happened uh, to alter their reality or perception of this. We have Emperor, Three of Cups, Hanged Man, King of Swords. So like a lightning bolt, you're about to uh, have something revealed to you here. Reconciliation is on the table. Uh, but what the surprise is that this person has in store is going to be something quite shocking because you're going to feel like, wow, was this meant to be all along? Uh, okay, so if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, thank you guys for the love and support. Always, I love you and I'll see you next time.